Quite a little while back, I made a video showing you guys how to play VR under minimum requirements. And basically what I did there is I replaced my GPU with a much lower spec one. But with advancements in technology, AI upscaling has become much, much better, especially with mods like VSR. So I've been wondering, how far can we possibly take gaming under minimum requirements. What is up everyone? Today we're going to be taking budget PC VR gaming to the extreme and playing PC VR without a graphics card. I mean, Intel integrated graphics. And the one way to do that, laptops. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So wanting to switch things up on the channel and record a few more entertaining videos, videos that aren't necessarily about news or focusing on updates of the Quest 2, etc, etc. I want to start making videos where we experiment, do things that maybe necessarily haven't been done before, push the limits of what's possible. So we've got three laptops with us today, the Microsoft Surface Book. And in order to not waste your guys' time, we tried this yesterday with the Discord just as a proof of concept without the base. So we turned off the base, we turned off the GTX 1060 and tried running VR on it. It crashed. That laptop has an eighth generation Intel Core i7 in it. And while I know that not everybody is going to have an eighth generation Core i7 inside their laptop, I feel like those laptops are becoming more and more out there. In fact, I think most of my friends now that went and bought a cheaper laptop to go to college with, they have 10th generation Core i7s in them, or Core i5s, and 10th generation is going to be quite a bit better. We've seen integrated graphics absolutely blow up recently, and I mean, just look at the Steam Deck. So, I have this. This is not my laptop. This is Eddie's laptop. Eddie, if you're watching, this is for a social experiment. This laptop has water damage. I cleaned it up a little bit live with the Discord, and it does work. It turns on and it didn't crash on me yesterday. It's got an Intel Core i7, eighth generation, exact same as in the Surface, but no GTX, nothing. Just integrated graphics. Intel HD Graphics 620. So this is one of our contenders. And finally, we've got my Razer Blade 15. Obviously this thing has a GPU inside it, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to be entirely disabling it and using only integrated graphics. Why? because I feel like this laptop has a CPU a little bit closer to what people are going to be buying in 2021 when they're getting themselves a laptop for college. It's got a ninth generation Core i7. And again, I feel like ninth generation, 10th generation are what's most popular on store shelves, at least in Ireland. From my very limited experience of leaving the house and going to a store, that's what I found. Thankfully, all the software that we need has already been installed by moi yesterday with the Discord. Oh yeah, another thing that needs to be made very obvious. While this would have not been possible whatsoever on the surface, we can't plug in Steam VR headsets into these. So we're going to be using virtual desktop, from the Oculus Quest 2, and we're also going to try Airlink. Why? Simply because these things, well, number one, have zero HDMI ports, and number two, have zero display ports. So it just wouldn't be possible to run a Steam VR headset off of these. So we're going to be pushing it to its limits using virtual desktop on the Oculus Quest 2, and Airlink if it allows for it. But showing you guys straight away at the very, very top that the hardware does not meet minimum requirements on this laptop, which is exactly what we want. I mean, it's a perfect laptop for college, perfect laptop for sideline gaming, but for VR, does not meet minimum requirements. Virtual desktop is fired up, Oculus software is installed. I've got Beat Saber downloaded on here because, well, let's be real, it's not gonna be running Half-Life Alex. And uh, I have also installed the FSR mod onto all of these. So the FSR mod essentially is AMD's AI upscaling, kind of like DLSS from Nvidia, but this one is entirely universal, which means that we can use it on Intel HD graphics, which is really cool. Let's see how it goes. So here we go. You guys can see the laptop off to the side simply because there's 0% chance I'm going to be able to record on it. And I'm also going to be casting from the Quest to my PC. So what you see on my PC is straight up just me casting to it. So virtual desktop is on and I can click launch Steam VR and see what happens. So you guys can straight up tell it's already chugging. However, it's on and the FSR mod is not installed here. So Airlink does not work. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, let's launch virtual desktop again. Oh my God. Okay. But it did turn on, which means it's technically not 
a fail. As you can probably tell, I cannot read this. I feel like we could start a new game mode on Beat Saber with this. Yeah, we can definitely start up a new game mode, guys. Call it, um, we could call this the impossible game mode. I can't even tell what difficulty that is. I feel like only the pros would be able to play this. Because you can only see the arrows when they're like super up close. <laughs> even then, it's impossible. <laughs> Can you read that? I can't read that. If anyone here starts criticizing me for trying Beat Saber, which is not an intensive game, instead of playing a proper game like, say, Half-Life Alex, if you think this thing is going to even turn on Half-Life Alex, you are delusional. <laughs> Let's try something I'm hoping for a little bit more luck with. Being abused by Windows Update during a video. Look at this. Look at this. We're actually being abused by Windows Update during a video. Okay, so the laptop just shut down uh, because it ran out of battery while trying to undo Windows updates. I don't know what the repercussions of that are. Hopefully none. I don't know, guys. It's not turning on. Not good at all. Windows updates have returned. Oh. <gasps> I'm going to Device Manager. I'm finding the GPU, and I'm straight up just right-click and disable device. Uh, this looks like a threat. Uh, I'm gonna click yes. Let's do this. This thing doesn't even have the FSR mod installed right now, so I'm honestly even more excited to see how this will work without FSR. So currently I'm- oh. Okay? For some reason it seems to be running worse than it was on Eddie's laptop. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we're launching into SteamVR Home. This is no good. Okay, let's do this. FSR is installed, it's set to 60% resolution scaling on Beat Saber. Resolution of laptop, changed to 720p. Let's try this out. Okay, let's launch Beat Saber and <laughs> see what happens. There we go. Okay, so it's lagging. Actually, it's, it's running smoother, but it's lagging more, if that makes sense. I can just about read the text here. Yeah, this is less playable than it was. I'm getting more frame drops than anything. And for some reason, I'm thinking that could be this thing's Wi-Fi card. So I stole this ethernet cable from the PlayStation 4 and uh, let's see if it's any better now. Cause honestly, it should be, but it's not. Great news, I've fixed the lagging. I have disabled sliced encoding within virtual desktops kind of menu. So you can see right now, running quite stably. Let's try this out. 73 FPS, let's go. I wonder if I can decrease latency by turning off video buffering. The answer is definitely yes. What happens, right? What happens if we bring up the resolution? Let's bring it up to 232%. Still entirely playable. And looks better too. Like I can read the numbers. Yeah, I can actually read stuff now. Let's see whether we can read the song names though. That's what I'm interested in. You can just about barely read this. Yee. Okay, okay, we, we get the point, it works. And if I turned down the resolution to 20%, it would probably run actually not much of a difference to be honest. What I think people might actually be interested in is not Pete Saber but rather VR chat. So what if you have a laptop and you want to play some VR chat? Let's bring the resolution scaling down to 50% and see if it runs. I am interested. I want to know because this could be a big deal with the FSR mod on Intel HD graphics. Okay, so VR chat just straight up doesn't launch. Even without it being modded, something is very wrong with this laptop and VR chat. Uh, it just insta crashes even without the GPU being disabled. So. I can't check it for some reason, but I'm not stopping here. We're installing Blade and Sorcery. 50% FSR on Blade and Sorcery. Are all Unity apps just going to crash? So here we are at the end of the video. What's the conclusion? The conclusion is if you want to play PC VR, playing it on Intel HD graphics is probably not your best option. However, will it work? Maybe. Your results may actually differ. It seems that playing it on the Razer Blade actually yielded worse results for me personally than playing it on the Yoga, which had a worse Intel HD graphics 
chip. Why? I have no clue. It looks like all not all CPUs are made equal, even though the Yoga heated up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is apparently normal for them. I have no clue why these conclusions yielded the results they did. Is it possible? Yes. Yes, it's possible. You can play Beat Saber like this. If for whatever reason you want to do it, unless we are actually making a new category, you shouldn't. I don't recommend this. I did it so that you don't have to. But it is possible. We did do it, and it's only possible thanks to FSR. This would not have been possible about a year ago. Now that FSR is released, it's only going to improve from here. Seeing how well the Steam Deck runs VR inside the Steam VR home menu, sure, there were caveats, but it ran pretty well. You know, if you remove the caveats, it, it looked smooth. How well would it run with FSR? You know, makes you wonder. Integrated graphics chips are moving forward super fast and i'm really looking forward to the day where we can look back at this video and be like wow look how far we've come but yeah interesting little experiment didn't yield the results i wanted i won't lie to you i kind of wanted it to run something a little bit more hardcore than beat saber but that is going to be it thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you all have a fantastic day or night if you guys liked the video please leave a like if you guys disliked it i guess this button works too but please tell me why down in the comment section below if you guys are not yet part of our community make sure to join our discord down below make sure to join our reddit where i want to see you posting your spice memes if you guys would like to join us on a daily basis smack the subscribe button down below doesn't cost you anything helps the channel out a lot and if you guys want to support the channel we have sick mugs down below the booster FPS by 300% and Merce doesn't put a huge ad in body. And if you guys want to be notified of our content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.